PlayStation Plus is how you play online. Exactly. Talk about how you stream. Broadcasting. They're both broadcasting. Yeah. Broadcast on Xbox. Better quality. Better video quality. <laughs> <laughs> Bro! Guys, I have a great... I didn't even do anything. Y'all, this is my cameraman, by the way. What is up everybody, it's your boy Jim Mom. Welcome back to another video. If I do sound sick, it's because I am a little bit sick. Well, not sick, I just got a stuffy nose. Welcome back to another video. I know I haven't uploaded in like two days, but it's all good. We back on track, back making vlogs. Not every day, not every day, not every weekend, not every week, but we back on track in a way. All right, this is gonna be as big as me going to California, when uh, I record all those vlogs, bro, it's gonna be as good. I promise you that. I'll explain more tomorrow. It's gonna be, I mean, I'm going to be vlog. So I'm recording this video to be an introduction to the vlog. It should be at least like 10 minutes long. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I got hungry, so I'm making burgers. It's one o'clock in the morning. I'm the biggest bird, I'm the biggest Approximately 10 hours later <laughs> That's a young man I gotta be quiet, I gotta be kinda quiet Bro, I keep stuttering Bro, look at the time Bro, I don't even wake this early up for practice I'm lying, I'll be waking up at like 6am for practice That's right Cheese, 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 cheese It's Friday the 20th We're going to Charleston it's crazy how I'm going to Charleston for like a little weekend. And this is all I bought, bro. This is all I bought. Three bad? That's crazy. I ain't gonna count. I have to leave at 11. I gotta clock in. Clock in. It's like I'm going to work tomorrow, 9 to 5. I gotta check into my hotel at like 3, 3, 3 p.m. Something like that. It takes like three hours to get to Charleston. So we gotta get to it, bro. The first thing we're gonna do is clean my car, bro. So we gotta go all the way. Oh, it's not too cold, I guess. It's not too cold. We gotta go clean my car. Ah, here she is. Look at that beauty. Hi, beautiful. Hi, beautiful. Let's just take a look inside real quick. Oh my God, that's not good. Gotta clean this stuff out. Uh, I just cracked my cranium. Back seat's not bad. Those are my cleats in there. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna start putting stuff in here. Well, usually it's dirtier, but thank God. Hey man, I'm so stuffed right now. Huh? My door needs some oil. All my stuff is in the car. Um, I gotta put this in there. I'm about to take a couple of snacks. I already loaded some snacks in the car already. I'm not gonna cap. Oh, hold on, let's do a time. Let's, let's, let's. <laughs> oh my god. It is 8.36. Yeah, actually I'm gonna end up changing clothes into this right here because I'll, I'll tell you guys what reason why and Second, but I'm gonna go ahead and change into these real quick. Hold on. Jeez. I ain't even made my bed yet. I said I was gonna clean my room. I ain't even made my bed yet. But hold on, let me just. Yeah. Put water as Gatorades in that bag to keep them cold for the long drive. Um, bed's coming. Snacks coming. Even though I got snacks already. I don't know if I'm gonna take that or not. It's a. It's a. Uh, oh, what's it called? Um, a massage gun. Um, but other than that, all that. Either that's gonna be my breakfast. This. These two. And then my Bev, you know, can't forget the Bev, never, never, never. Ugh. But uh, yeah, wait, hold on. let me show you guys the car. Oh! oh! We're munchkin in his room, brushing his teeth. I'll show you guys the car. Yo, the sun is coming out to play. Yes, sir, I like that. So yeah, as you can see, already I got some water bottles over there in the Gatorade. Just to drink on while I'm headed over there. Oh my God, the door's locked. Oh, I did not clean that up. Oopsie doopsies, kapoopsies. Uh, but yeah, the guys are in the car. Uh, I got a ball in there as well. If you can see, it's that that little thing. Yeah, you see, it says Umbro. 
the roller, bro. I'm, bro, I'm ready. I'm set, bro. I've never been so ready for something in my life. Next time, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh my god, I gotta go to Charleston. You gonna shout your channel out? What uh, you, what you gonna subscribe to RJ Riz? <laughs> RJ Riz, okay, videos every Friday. Okay, okay, yes. buddy. That's about that time. About to head on out. JJ, you want to say anything? Please leave already. Okay, I got Please. it. All right, bro. All right, uh, so I'm in the car. We ain't got no gas. I ain't gonna count, but it's okay because I'm gonna get as far as I can with no gas. And hopefully find a gas station on the way. So let's get a show on the road, boys. <clears throat> I'm not gonna film as much because I'm on the road. Like, it just makes common sense, but I got my shin straps, bro. My, the, the Amazon man came in like, Two seconds right before I leave, I was about to leave, and he gave me, or well, he got me my shin straps. So I got my new, very new shin, uh, shin guard straps. Damn, I was calling it wrong. All the bags and trunk, cleats. The cleats down there? Yes, the cleats down there. Waters and stuff like that. A uh, tripod, charger, or some more Gatorade waters. But, um, bro, let's get out of here, bro. Three hour drive. Let's do it. Well, I am like 15 minutes into the drive, and this dude is going two miles per hour. And I don't want to pass him because it's like, Bro, I'm not really in a rush for nothing, so I'm just I'm just chilling driving. But um I'm feeling kinda tired because it's going so slow, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop my uh I'm gonna go ahead and pop my mini shoe. Alright, first stop is at a gas station. It's crazy because I'm not even I'm not even close to being out of gas. I just I see like a highway. And so I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and fill up just because I'm on it for like 300 freaking years. So we are here. We got like two hours left though. So um, yeah, I'm gonna fill up. You know what's crazy? Gas is really 30, 307 right now, bro. That's crazy. Hey, junk just don't change. And why is this not? I'll tell you how I'll tell you how much it costs to fill up. Cause I, it's not gonna be that much because my junk was getting like it was like right below halfway. But at the same time, it should be a lot because my my Johns, my uh my car tanks gas. Look, bro, three three oh seven. I ain't gonna lie, that's OD for real. All right, first stop of gas, thirty nine oh seven. Jesus. <laughs> All right, let's get the show back on the road. Like literally, like let's get the show back on the road. On this crooked, I'm on, a, I'm on this crooked highway that might crash and blow up. Two hours left. Look at this road. And there's a guy about to run into me for no reason. Leave me alone. I'm running over. The road is much more better. Um, nah, but uh, hour down, two hours left. Uh, I already finished two water bottles and I do have to pee low key. I have to figure out a place I want to eat tonight and I'm going to do a Q&A tonight. So uh, let's finish this drive. I'll see you guys in like another hour. Bro, I told y'all the next time y'all see me, I'm going to be in the bathroom, bro. I just I had to go pee so bad. I drank four bottles of water, but... Yeah, I'm about to head out and finish up, finish up this journey to Charleston. We in Orangeburg right now, so let's get it. Hey, why well, I parked next to a Jeep truck hawk and it started, it goes <laughs> All right, it is kind of hot though. I might have to take this jacket off, but it's mad hot outside. Going on this road trip made me realize I listened to a lot of Lil Baby. My question to you guys is who is y'all's favorite artist, bruh? I've been listening to a lot of drill rap. Oh my gosh, my Johns is dirty, bro. I'm just turn thing off real quick, bruh, it's getting cold. But yeah, I'm sweating my balls. Like 45 minutes out until I get to like the place I'm trying to get to. But I'm like 25 minutes away from where I'm supposed to be. Uh, so yeah, just closing in. I mean, I just want to see, like, I want to show you guys how beautiful this road is, bro. It's just like flat surface and everything. This dude's going mad slow. I had to go pee again, but my bladder is so small every time I drink water, bro. But yeah, uh, should we get something to drink? Or we just wait? You know, I got 25 minutes. I'm gonna just go ahead and make the drive, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and get down where I need to get to. Bro, the amount of sweat that's under my pits right now is absurd. I did not know it's gonna be this hot today. And plus, hey, PS, don't go to Somerville around two o'clock. This John's is traffic -y. Yeah, but check this, bro, check the traffic out. Bro, it's, it's, it's everywhere. Why don't y'all tell me my lips was a little bit chapped? I'm looking good. <laughs> no? Okay. She's beautiful! I was gonna side. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I was gonna try to get in the middle of the lane, but there's literally four lanes, so there's like no middle at all. Unless I just like explode. Like, bro, it's so nice. We're about to go on the bridge. We're about to go on the bridge. <laughs> to 
Boulevard, Helena Pond, Coleman Boulevard, Helena. Ooh-wee. It's so nice, bro. It's so nice. Bro, it's just a nice day in general. I'm not going to lie. Like, everything just looks good today. I just hit my phone on the on the window. Bro, I've been looking for food for like 30 minutes. I am hungry. Taco Bell. Oh, my gosh. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Is this, is this the... Is this is where I turn that. Hey, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This little old Taco Bell, bro. Bro, guys, I've made it though. I've made it. I cannot wait to show you. I can't wait to get in my hotel and start just talking to y'all. The sun's out. Everything's just beautiful. But uh, let me just. Right there, Taco Bell. How can I help you? Yes. Can I have two soft tacos? Anything else? Uh, that'll be all for me. All right. 442, call it. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, we made it to the hotel. We made it to the hotel. Bro, it's so nice, bro. Bro, in general, it's nice. It's just nice today in general, but I just went pee. I had not even see the hotel room. All right. Oh, my gosh. Okay, oh, my God. Let's find out what it's saying. Let's see. Three, three, three. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, my God. There it is. What's it saying? Hey. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. Hey, it's lit. Oh, 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 doo, doo. oh my gosh. Nice little bathroom as well. Oh, so, oh my god. Well, I could have bought my game. I can say I got to bring, bring my stuff upstairs. So, one second. Why am I watching SpongeBob? But now nah, I'm now I'm officially in the hotel. Like I'm. Like I'm chilling right now. Like uh, it's a it's a nice, it's a really nice hotel. A SpongeBob. Actually, let me just. I want. <clears throat> oh my god. No, I'm good looking, man. That's good. Uh, but they got stuff. The uh, stuff over here. You got the bath, the bath, the shower. Big old mirror, bro. This is too nice. I ain't gonna count. You follow me through here. Um, you got the microwave. You got the coffee maker. I don't know what that. Is. I think it's a trash can. And then you got the refrigerator. I just have a couple of drinks in there because um. I just need to have a couple drinks in there for my uh, hydration station. Good looking man himself, you know what I'm saying? I'm just kidding. You come in, you make, make another left. You got my roller on the ground. Nice little um, non-representational painting. Lights, where the magic happened. Ooh, my drawers. Closet, and then you have my clothes um, for this weekend. This this is this little bench right here is pretty cool though. I like it, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't, my sandals, my bags. Um, my other stuff that I said I buy off freeze, shin guards, shin, uh, shin uh, strap, uh, what are they called? Shin guard straps, uh, compression points, blows like that. Got the TV, bro. This is so HD. I'm not even joking with you. Got SpongeBob on right now. I got the tripod set up for later on. So when I record, got my Taco Bell because I just ate. Ain't gonna lie. Look how, look how nice this light is, bro. You just lightly touch it, bro. It's so nice. Is it off? No, it's not even off yet, bro. You just tap it one time. Bro, now it's off. Turn around, you got this long, long sofa couch thing right here. More bags, phone, and then this light up here. Let me show you how bright this light is. Bro, you are not the thinker. I'm about to head out real quick. I'm gonna go get some touches on the ball, record that too, post on my Instagram and stuff like that. So right now I'm looking for a park to go train at. I don't really want goals. I just wanna, you know, drill around, get some touches on the ball as much as possible. Probably gonna be out here for just like an hour, 30 minutes, 40, 45 minutes to an hour. Um, so I'm gonna try to find a park. So we're back in the car, waiting for these people to go, bro. Look how, look how. It's gonna take forever, but.
my ball is flat. I thought it was gunshots. Bruh. Bro, it is so beautiful outside. Even though I got a flat ball, it's, it's so beautiful outside. Quick training session, there's a lot, a lot of touches before tomorrow. I'll explain what I'm doing tomorrow as well when I get back to the hotel, but it's just a very beautiful day today. Birds are chirping, wind was blowing. It was a little bit heat, so like the wind was like carrying away the heat. But all around, it was just a, a beautiful day so far. But the day hasn't ended. I think I'm about to go get dinner around like 7.30. Let's get back to the hotel before I get fined $1,000 because uh, I didn't even pay my toll. All right, so I'm a little smarty pants, and I thought it'd be a good idea to get done at 5 o'clock. And... Um, I went over the bridge and bro, there was like so much traffic. I literally had to, I wanted to take a different exit because I didn't want to stay in that traffic. It was going to be so bad. That's how bad it was. Skirt, let me get out of here. Skirt, skirt, skirt. All right. I'm going to show you guys where I'm going to be at tomorrow. It might be new to some of y'all. It's new to me, but. Um... <laughs> if you guys don't know where I'm at, you might have seen it in the background two seconds ago, but. It is the Charleston Battery Field. All right, so uh, a quick sneak peek. Okay, so I was supposed to be in the hotel right now, but um, I'm walking to Walgreens to see if they have any Epsom salt, so I can uh, see if I can reduce every bit of soreness in my body. There we are. And my hotel's like right across the street, so it's not that far. It's not Epsom salt. Instead of getting Epsom salt, I got Pedialyte because they didn't have Epsom salt, bro. Walgreens didn't have Epsom salt. Like, does, does that make any sense to anyone? Or is like, am I tweaking? Oh God, I'm at Trader Joe's right now, even though I'm supposed to be in my hotel. I'm just looking for a water bottle, so I don't know where I'm gonna find one at. Trader Joe's does not have water bottles, bro. <sighs> looking for a water bottle didn't go as planned as I could not find one at all. I'm gonna take a shower and get ready to head out again. I'm getting something to eat because I'm always hungry. Oh my god, I'm so black. Um, as you can see, I'm back at the crib of the I'm about to take a shower. <sighs> my baby is going through a lot today. I think they had a uh, fitness center, so I might go down there after dinner night after I digest everything. So we'll see. Please look sore. Oh my god, it works. Turn the lights on. Did I turn both lights on or just one light? I think I should turn both lights on. Why not? There we go. That's nice a little bit lit in here. Hey, lit, lit, lit. But I'll come back home after dinner and I'll record the QA and tell you guys why I am here in Charleston. So give me like 20 minutes. Very boring minutes later. 
I ain't gonna lie, I just got in the shower, but I'm I'm low key like mad hungry right now. So instead of like getting in my getting in bed and turning on TV and editing my video for a little bit, we going to Olive Garden. Boy, I'm car bub, finish about like four more bottles of water. Get ready for tomorrow. I got like two percent left, but um, just to fit, um, nothing too dramatic, you know. Just yada yada. Why is my jaw not open? There we go. Make sure everything's in my wallet. I'm sorry. All right, so I'm about to head out uh, right now, or like in a few seconds. Um, it's 7:01 or like 7:02, something like that. Oh, Pedialyte, yes, I love you. Anyways, uh, I'm about to head to Olive Garden. Um, I'm on perfect, like perfect timing, like perfect, perfect scheduling type of type of deal going on here. I love that. I love being on time. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna go get something to eat. Um, right now, I'm not really gonna record that much while I'm driving there because my phone is on like 17%. But like, what if I was to run up and down these hallways though? Like this hallway goes all the way down there, then it curves. It's like a thing. Let's get out of here. Tell me why it takes 30 minutes to get to, uh, tell me why it takes 30 minutes to get to, um, dang bro. Tell me why it takes 30 minutes to get to uh, Olive Garden, bro. I have a ribbon. I thought it was 30 minutes away. It's only like 19 minutes away. Not too bad, not too bad. But uh, yeah, let's go in here, let's eat. I'm probably not gonna uh, report that much because I only have like a little battery left, so yeah. Here we go. I even look both ways before I cross the street. I could've got hit and murdered. Quick change of plans, I am at, <laughs> let's see it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but. I bet... <clears throat> I'm at Moe's. Yummy. It's kinda dirty, man, I ain't gonna lie. I decided to get the chicken and cheese case idea because that's like the only thing that's not going to be too heavy on my stomach. That's about it though. All right, y'all. So I'm back in the hotel. As you can see, lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, I'm about to chow down. I have one, two, I have two quesadillas, chicken and cheese quesadillas, and some chips and some queso. I'm about to chew on, eat on this for, uh, for a couple of minutes. I'm not going to eat all of it tonight. I might. I am. And I'm finish up some water. Um, and I'm going to jump into the Q&A. So... I'm gonna try to do it all the You I'm, what? I'm gonna try to do all this fairly quickly so I can uh, go to bed pretty early on a on a good time so I can wake up so I can feel relieved. I might go to the gym and stretch for a little bit. Let's hurry this up. <laughs> it's Q and A time. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven questions in total. I have one, two, three, four, four on Snapchat and three on Twitter. Uh, I have one question, it's like two questions, so that's why I said seven. But yeah, um, but right before we get into the questions, I want to tell you guys why I'm in Charleston. So uh, I'm lucky enough to actually get a tryout with the Charleston Battery soccer team, the professional USL championship team here in Charleston. Um, I'm very grateful. Um, it's an open trial. Uh, I had the money and everything to get, get it all paid for and stuff like that. So here I am. Another thing, if you guys realize I did not go to Olive Garden, I went to... Um, I went to Moe's instead. Bro, I drive 20 minutes to 20 minutes to Olive Garden, right? And it's a two hour wait. Bruh. Two hour wait. And I was like, I was like, what if it's just like one person? How long is the wait for that? They were like, still two hours. So I was like, all right, I'm cooling on it. Well, the first question comes from my friend, Michael Murphy, or my teammate, Michael Murphy. Um, he asks, what are some things that you've learned from us internationals that impacted you positively and negatively, if there is any? Um, Something that's positive that uh, impacted me, that has impacted me, is probably my style of play. There's there's definitely a difference between the U.S. the U.S. style of soccer versus the international or like European style of soccer. So I've definitely changed my type of play in general. It's not just about physicality; it's about you know technical ability as well. Uh, if I said that right. My next question is from Valentina on Snapchat. Uh, she asks. Do you ever regret meeting someone? And is there someone you miss that you can't reach out to? So um, yes, I regret meeting a lot of people. And is there someone you miss that you can't reach out to? Um, actually, my dog, <laughs> my best friend. He never, he never really switched up with me for real. So I can, if I can reach out to my dog one more time, bro, it'll be a blessing, like for real. Next question comes from my um, middle school friend, Caden. Um, Caden Witt. He asks, best soccer player in middle school. Um, part of my friend Chris. Me and him together duo was crazy. I'm talking about like 20 goals, all 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 seasons. It was ridiculous, but we just really tore up that middle school league. To be honest with you, my <laughs> my other teammate Nicholas Venter, um, he has all time favorite German. Um, 
player-wise, uh, probably Marco Royce. Uh, not my top 10 favorite players, but he's one of my favorite players that I've uh, seen play the game of football. Um, he's definitely one of my favorite players, but if we're not talking about uh, soccer player-wise, um, definitely um, Albert Einstein. I have one more question from the boy Max. He just sent me this. Um, he asked me, what is the meal I get at Zaxby's? Uh, so Zaxby's is like one of my favorite uh, fast food restaurants. I usually get the uh, a large Big Zach snack meal. All right, so now moving on to Twitter. I got a couple of questions from Twitter. So my, the first question comes from my friend Zach Simmons. He asks, what's your top five youngsters list right now in the big leagues? Um, Chumini, Kamavinga, Bellingham, Tonali, Bakayo Saka. I know they're mostly midfielders, but I just, I just, I don't know. There's just something about young midfielders that just like turn me up every time. Next question comes from uh, my friend Martini. He asks, "What is your what is your routine to maintain the peak physical specimen that is known as Mon D Santos?" Um, to be honest, playing uh, soccer, uh, I have planned for most of my life. So if I eat anything, it comes off whenever I play soccer workouts for the soccer team, you know, keeps, keeps me in shape, you know. And the last question comes from my uh, friend, my teammate, Andrew Baxley. He asks, who is your favorite footy player in each position? Do like a full team of your favorite players. So I put a picture on the screen, but um, starting in goalkeeper position, I do have Manuel Neuer. He's always just, in my opinion, he's always been the best goalkeeper. Two center backs, I put Maldini and Sergio Ramos. Ramos, just because he's absolutely insane at what he does, I think. He is a prime example of what a defender should look like. Slide tackling, shooting, dribbling, passing, agility, all that combined pace, everything. It, it has to be in a defender, in my opinion. Aldini, when I got more into more and more into the game of football or soccer, I started looking at, you know, different types of center backs and stuff like that. And the one that impressed me the most is probably Maldini. I just fell in love with Maldini. And when he puts in a challenge, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it. Same with Sergio Ramos. You're going to feel that challenge. Left back. Roberto Carlos, self-explanatory, bro. He's literally one of the best left backs in the world. Right back, Danny Alves. Um, I say Danny Alves because um, skillful right back that can actually like go up the field and show me what they got, you know what I'm saying? Moving into midfield, I have Lukito Modric or Luka Modric because one of the best midfielders in the world, in my opinion. Very strong. His IQ is insanely great. Defending, physicality, everything's great. His shot, his long shots, penalties, everything about him other than like, you know, he might be a little bit on the slower side of things. So moving on to my other midfielder, you smack Rude Hullet, Rude Hullet and like um, like any team, you put him at striker, he's gonna play well. Cam is gonna play well. Midfield is gonna play well. CDM is gonna play well. A defender in the back line is gonna play well. Smack him in goalkeeper, he's gonna play well. And that's why he's one of my favorite players. If you smack him in a position, any position, he's the best player on the field, it doesn't matter. Uh, next is my like Cam or my other center mid, my last center mid, uh, Ronaldinho. Um, Self-explanatory skills galore. I don't even do skills, but it was just a joy to watch him. My left wing, and then Hazard, especially at Chelsea, man, this dude, bro, he was just one of my favorite, like, growing up as well, just at Chelsea, this was crazy. At one point, I really thought his, his dribbling, especially in 2018 World Cup, I thought his dribbling was better than Messi's, in my opinion. So moving on to striker, I have Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, bring the ball up in there, he's going to get it. You put the ball on his left foot, he's going he's gonna to score. Right foot, is going to score. Physicality, great physicality. He's very good at skill moves and everything, man. He's just a, in my opinion, he's a complete player. So for my right wing, I have Lionel Messi, of course, one of the best players in the world, in my opinion. Argued by most people that he is the best player in the world. That has been my Q and A. Like I told you guys um, earlier, I'm about to head to the gym, stretch, stretch out, walk on a chair for about four or five minutes. Make sure my my knees feel good. Make sure my hamstrings, my quads, my calves, my feet. Make sure my Body feels just good in general to do any physical activity tomorrow. Roller versus Kyle's roller. Thank you, Kyle. Shout out to Kyle. Um. Oh, it's a little bit of a walk. A little bit of a walk. Got a pool. Andre, you are struggling to machine. Oh, it's pool. Is the pool even open? Pool hours 10 a.m., 10 p.m. Oh, John is good. John is closed. Close AF. Yeah. Sit in the center. Let's see if I actually get in. Oh my gosh, there's someone in here. There has to be someone in here, I think. The lights is on. Hold on, let me just. Yes, sir. I'm going to stop right by here. 
Did I get a workout somewhere, please? I think I worked for like, yeah, four minutes, 30 seconds. Walk backwards for two minutes, walk forward for two minutes. Jiffy Biffy, um, now we're about to hop on the bike over here for like two minutes, just to get my knees, you know, going like this, if that makes sense. So let's do this thing. I go, that's John kind of loud, I ain't gonna count. They got a little TV here I can watch. They have like headphones over there too, it's pretty cool. They have like little headphones that you can borrow. What's your favorite like cardio workout to do? Sorry. Oh my god, my voice. About to roll out now. I kind of just put the phone down. And I just just did my thing, you know. Um, got on the treadmill, got on the bike. Um, I'm feeling my legs feel great for tomorrow. They don't feel too heavy. Don't feel they don't feel too light. But you know, it's just right where I I can twist and turn, do all that. I just feel good in general. So um, yeah, I didn't I didn't record in the workout because it was my opinion. It was very boring, but very much needed. It is 10:35. I'm gonna be in bed by 11 o'clock. I'm gonna finish up some bottles of water. Making sure I'm fully hydrated for tomorrow. Um, I feel good. My body feels good. Mentally, I feel good. Everything feels good, but I'll catch you guys in the morning time. Guys, I'm turning the light on. Oh. Today's the day. All right, so I just got done taking a shower. Um, now I'm just about to pack my clothes. So I'm gonna put these in a the bag. I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way. <laughs> wow, it's got drawers everywhere. Put these in the bag. Put this in the bag. I'm taking this bag instead because it's a lot smaller. Oh, this is going in the bag. I have uh, two sets of clothes because I do, I sweat like so much and I'm not trying to like wear muggy clothes throughout the day, you know what I'm saying? So it's currently 6.49. I gotta get out of here in probably like an hour or so. So we're gonna go downstairs and eat breakfast after I'm done packing. I'm gonna show y'all what they got for breakfast. So, this is the um, breakfast fit right here. Oh my gosh, no, I've never seen a pancake make it like this, bro. So it squirts out the pancake from here and it sends it down here and it pops it on the plate for you. Look, look, look. They're like, boo, boo, boo. Like, that's like a perfect pancake though, isn't it? That's pretty nice. Oh, it's gonna pop on my plate, but no, no. I don't remember what I'm gonna play like right here. There we go. That looks, that looks better. But um, you got a banana, bacon, eggs, and pancakes. Simple breakfast. I'm probably gonna get some water and some milk, so. Looks like a steamroller. The <laughs> dink? That's so cool. It's like a perfect pancake. I'm gonna eat the banana later on, but yeah, this food was um mid. Like 7 Eleven, 7 7 12, 7 15, somewhere around that area. Let's get back in the hotel room from eating my breakfast. It's a little bit of a mess. I might clean up a little bit. Stop the cap. All right. I am ready to go. I'm about to head to the field. I should get to the field around like 7 50, 10 minutes before. I just want to make sure I got a parking spot that's close to the field so I ain't got to walk that far type of thing. Like three minutes away, I'll probably get there around 7.55, walk up to the thing and be able to check in as soon as I get there, which is great because I want to have a couple of minutes uh, to stretch what I need again, uh, get some touches, uh, if anyone has a ball and stuff like that. But, um, bro, I'm, I got to put the camera down. I got to put the camera down, bro. I don't, I'm so, I'm so nervous. I'm not nervous. I'm just, I'm just shaky right now. Oh. All right, first session of trials are done. I'm back to the hotel. I'm gonna take a shower. I'll catch y'all up when I'm back in the hotel. All right, so I'm back in the hotel. Um, I'm so I'm so tired. I think I'm gonna just take like a quick 15 minute nap. We have to be back at the food at two o'clock. I want to show off my my bunnies, but I can't. One v ones. I've got them all of them. I only turned the ball over like twice. I'm gonna change my clothes. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna go with the the uh, black socks, white shell sleeves. I'm gonna change the um, compression shorts. I'm gonna take this uh, uh, this uh, the white thing off. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the long sleeve off. It's getting hot outside, so um, take this off. Um, what else? I think that's about it. So I'm just gonna feel back up, um, stretch, roll out what I need to be rolling out, and um, yeah. All right, y'all, so um, I was tired two seconds ago, but um, I'm not really as tired as I was two seconds ago. So um, I'm actually about to go um, 
get a sub. I just took a shower. Oh, my feet are I just took a shower. So um, I'm all clean, thank God. Um, I took my, uh, what was I saying? I took that shirt off. Bro, I cannot lay on this no more. Like this thing right here is all musty, capussing the my motherly buddy. Stop it. Get some help. Ooh, I'm gonna start wearing this to practice maybe. One thing I learned about these dudes is like, bro, they're so aggressive. They'll take you and the ball if they wanted to, bro. Everything's quick, everything's fast at this professional level. Like, bro, it, everything has to be quick. You take your touch, you go pass, move, pass, move, all that. I found a Jersey Mike Subs, not a Subway. I wanted Subway, but I found a Jersey Mike Subs is near. So we got me a Jersey Mike Sub. We got like an hour. It's like 12, 12 46 right now. We got like an hour before we go. Dang, shut These guys are tough, bro. Like 5'11, six foot dude. He was playing right back, and I was also playing right. He made an overlapping run. I caught him, and bro, he was so shifty, bro. Like he hit like two spins in a matter of two seconds. I I ain't gonna lie, I had him had him in my pocket. I did have him in my pocket, but like, bro, he I didn't expect like a big dude his size to move like a guy my size. You know what I'm saying? It's only like one o'clock. It's like one o'clock. See there, twelve fifty two, and there's traffic, kind of like backed up towards Jersey Mike's, bro. Does it make any sense? I went over to Jersey Mike subs or whatever it's called. Um, and bro, they they literally closed down. Like they were just open the other day. I swear to God, they were open the other day. <laughs> On the way to this next training session, um, white socks, different pants, different socks. No more undershirt. This is how we rock in. This is how we rock. This is and roll and roll. Oh my gosh, I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go in here. Let's match work again. Yay! I love this show. I freaking love this show. All right, second session. I'm about to uh, blast X X X Tentashi on in the car. Oh my days. Hey, don't worry about my sock being up there. It has to dry, bro. I don't know why it's wet. I guess I'll tell you how the training goes. I'll come back to the hotel and conclude the video. Approximately 10 hours later. Um, yeah. So uh, we finished a lot bit earlier. Like instead of finishing at four, we finished at three, like 3.15 or something like that. We got done with tryouts. We ended a little bit early. We ended it around 3.15. They gathered all the players up. They gave us a little quick talking to. So it is an open tryout. So I did have to pay like like $100 to, to enter in. That was about it. First and foremost, I'm grateful for the opportunity to even come down here, have a hotel room and everything to to play the, the lovely sport of football. I want to say thank you to Charleston Battery um, in general for us using your facilities and stuff like that to train train on and everything like that. Um, there was a lot of good players. There was a lot of players better than me. There was a lot of players like really way much more lesser, better than me, not, like not good at all. But um, it, was, it was just a good feeling to go out there and um, just play. Just play in front of coaches. And let them see what kind of talent you have. Thank you again, Charleston Battery. And also I am still grateful for the opportunity I got. Every day we lit, <laughs> every day we lit. Nah, but uh, we're back in the hotel. Um, bro, let me show you how much I just be eating. Bro, this is it's my Chick-fil-A right here. I haven't ate that yet, but this is all I ate this weekend. I didn't even finish. I didn't even finish these, but they're, they're gummy, so I wouldn't be able to finish those. All right, so now I'm just about to take a shower, eat my food, and hop in the bed. <sighs> I can't wait to jump in you. Pause. But um, guys, thank you guys for watching the vlog. Um, I'm ending it now. It's around like 3.55. Let me show you. 3.55. About to be 4 o'clock soon. Um, I'm ending the vlog now so I can start editing it. Uh, so when Sunday comes around, I can start uploading the video. But nonetheless, I just want to thank you guys for watching. And it only gets better from here.